Control flow containers provide ways to group tasks so that they execute together. Containers allow you to group control flow tasks for execution, to group tasks for repeated execution given some condition, to repeatedly execute group tasks for each data member in some kind of collection, and to easily set properties that affect all of its contained tasks. In the looping containers, you can control how and whether the member tasks of each execution group interact with each other, or to share the same variable scope defined for that container. They also provide a way to define success and failure through precedence constraints for the group of tasks as a whole. In this course, you'll learn about all the containers you can use, including the mostly invisible task host container that Integration Services creates for you automatically anytime you add a task to a control flow. We'll explore all of the containers and you'll see various demos that show how you can take advantage of them. A transaction is a core concept of relational database systems. It's one of the major mechanisms through which a database server protects the integrity of data by making sure that the data remains internally consistent. SQL Server has always had rich support for transactions, and Integration Services hooks into that support. You'll see how to implement transactions for both a package as well as for smaller units using containers. With Smart Transaction Implementation, you can build remarkably robust packages.